Now, as everybody knows, Sun Living is an affordable range of motorhomes produced by Adria in Slovenia. It's very eye-catching for a number of reasons, because for 2018, out goes the old yellow and black branding in favour of blue and grey, all part of a reboot that the mother brand has probably decided it was ripe for. So the offering is now split into three particular segments. We have V for vans, S for low profile, and A for overcabs. So we're going to take a look at one of the S series vans in the shape of the S70 SL, which has a transverse rear mounted bed and a drop down bed above the lounge. And now look at these brilliant white sidewalls, the new typography, the grey and the blue colourways, all of which will help the new Sun Living stand out in the marketplace. But there's more. Open the habitation door to reveal this rather smart panel with a couple of hooks and storage down there. Now I'm starting to feel that this van isn't built down to a price and that feeling certainly carries on inside. Now, to my eyes, this doesn't look particularly budget or entry level at all. Quite the opposite, in fact. It could have come out as something far more expensive. Now, another little prong to the attack for Sun Living in 2018 is appealing to the rental market. And that is why they have chosen this kind of soft furnishing scheme inside. You see, grey and turquoise match the colours on the side of the van, and they also feel pleasingly durable too. So they'll certainly stand up to a lot of wear and tear. And just look at these overhead lockers. No more pesky positive catches. No, you just stick your hand in, up it goes. And to close it, straight back down with a bit of resistance. I can see that system taking years of punishment. But it's not just about durability. There's plenty of finesse to go with it too. Check out this light. On it goes. It's something out of Adria's more expensive ranges, and it's very reassuring to see it in the new Sun Living. And in fact, it's a lot of fun too. You can do that for hours. Plus, on the lounge table down here, you can extend it easily into the offside position for the people sitting in the sofas by means of a clever articulated system. Just pull out, and it snaps into position. Now the fabric panel on the inside of the habitation door is referenced here in the overcab. It provides the lining for those overcab storage pockets and it's also a handy backstop under the sunlight. Now the S70 SP's nearside kitchen is certainly on the compact side. It's the kind of thing you could expect to find in a camper van. Having said that though, you still get three gas burners in a line, so two can't go hiding behind the pair in front, and a square sink. Now below the square sink is a very pleasing touch indeed. A main socket mounted through 90 degrees, so there won't be any cable foul. And underneath that, two drawers, using the same system that you stick your hand into and also amazing at this price point they're actually soft closing now underneath here under the gas burners you'll find a combination oven and grill all pretty good for versatile cooks on the move there's no obvious place to put a microwave oven though so you may just have to get used to the relative charms of gas instead now the final piece in the kitchen jigsaw is the Duriger skinny fridge here on the near side and that's opposite a rather large wardrobe space. Look at all that, plenty of place to stick all your finery. Now behind that, another great innovation in this van. What's this void you're thinking? Hang on, has this van actually got a washroom? Answer, yes it does. And it's behind this sliding tambour door. Now the great advantage to this kind of execution is that when the washroom is not in use, you have a clear, unobstructed sight line to the rear of the motorhome, making it feel much bigger than it really is. When you want to use the washroom, you just step inside, pull the door around, and the space inside, although compact, still gives you a wash basin, a shower, and a loo. Plus, you get the benefit of the roof light flooding the area in natural light. Now the S70 SP has a rear fixed bed, and to save space on the body length, which is just under seven meters, it is of the transverse variety. It has a handy split lengthways too, so you can lift up this section and load items into the void underneath. Now talking about storage, there are three overhead lockers on the rear wall of the van, another storage cupboard here with a load of shelves in, and actually under this space, a wardrobe with a hanging rail. Now the back of the wardrobe doesn't in fact have a back, it has a curtain, and this allows you to load items into the spacious rear garage. 
Now, selected models in the new Sun Living Low Profile Collection have dropped down double beds above the lounge, and that includes the S70 SP. To deploy the bed, it's quite simple. You just remove the headrests from the lounge seats, drop the cushions on the side sofa, and then engage in some fairly light lifting. Access to the bed is by means of a ladder that stores in the rear garage. It really couldn't be any easier. The Sun Living S70 SP is based on the Fiat Ducato on a 3,500 kilogram chassis, so anyone can drive it on a standard car license. The user payload is 577 kilograms, so there's plenty of accommodation for all your touring essentials. Now, the on the road price is just under £50,000. Some people would say that's a lot of money for an entry level van. I say, think about it this way this is a fantastic entree to Adria's legendary build quality at a lower price. And from what we've seen on this van, what's on the inside and the outside is certainly very impressive.